Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to go over my faves and fails for July. Now, you guys know that I try a lot of different makeup every month as your kind of makeup guinea pig. I feel like it is valuable for you guys um, to know, you know, what I tried and what I didn't like and what I did like. So I decided I'm going to try to do this every month. So it's more of a first impressions, just trying things, you know, once or twice kind of video. And I hope you like the format of this. It's going to be kind of casual. So let's start with the um, winners and we'll get to the losers towards the end of the video. One thing that I tried this month that I really, really love, the thing that I'm like the most excited about to show you is this um, Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. This is a 25% alpha hydroxy acid peel with 2% salicylic acid. And it's got a combination of acids in here. It's got glycolic, lactic, citric, and tartaric acid. You would only want to use it once a week. This is definitely not a daily thing. Um, and I used it once. I used it last Sunday night and um, I can't say I loved it right away. I was really like, oh my god, this is going to be an epic fail because I can't keep it on my face. Within the first two minutes, my face was like tingling and feeling like, you know, bugs were crawling on it and stuff. And I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to make it through this. You have to leave it on there for 20 minutes. So I went down and put on some really interesting TV show and like yoga breathe and like, like talk myself off the ledge and managed to make it through the 20 minutes and then washed it off did my skincare. I didn't put on my Retin-A that night. They do give you a little sample of their marula oil with it. I'm pretty sure I use that as well. And then in the morning when I woke up and looked in the mirror, I was like, oh my gosh, my skin is so smooth. You guys know how I struggle with my pores and my ripply skin and my orange peel skin. I felt like my skin looked so smooth that day. My makeup went on so smooth. It was just like, oh, the heavens opened up, the angels were singing, and the sunshine was beaming down on me. Although I was like, no, no sunshine. Um, but it was just a fantastic skin day, and I was like, great. I can't say it lasted like the entire week. Definitely day one was the best. Then the little bit of flaking happened. It was just a little flaking up here, and a little bit over here, and that was it. So I'm going to do it again this week, and I'm going to try to work this into my routine as a weekly thing. You know, nothing impresses me on the first use, and on the first use, I was like, wow that was awesome. So then um, something else that I was impressed with on the first use and I did a uh, try it Tuesday on this a couple weeks ago. This is the Finishing Touch Flawless. This is a face shaver and it looks like an overgrown lipstick or something but very pretty. You could keep it on your bathroom vanity or in your purse like you would want to shave your face on the go. I don't know why but you know apparently you might. Um, and it's just like a little rotary face shaver. And I actually had another face shaver in that video that I did one side with that shaver and one side with this shaver and oh my god what a difference it made. This one was so much of a like closer comfortable non-irritating shave. It's not one of those things that rips the hairs out by the roots so you can use it. There's absolutely no pain. There's no worry of nicking or cutting yourself with this. So if you are a person who shaves your face this is a great little gadget to try and I'll put links to everything in the information box below the video so you can find them really quick and easy but I'm going to do a, an update probably until it grows in all the way and I'll show you week by week what the regrowth is like. All right something else that I tried is the Kula Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum. I um, tried this because it is summer and you know I don't tan my face. I wear a lot of SPF 50 every day, reapply, wear a hat when I'm outside. So my face tends to be a little pale in the summer and I would like to be able to do like no makeup days and stuff. So I thought well let me do a little self tanner. And I just picked this one up randomly at the store because I like other Kula products and I really like this. This is a gel like serum. Can you see it there on the tip of my finger? I usually will do that at night and then in the morning when I wake up I have a nice tan and I like the color of this one it's not too to the orangey side like I don't really like the ones that make me look you know like fakely orange this one just gives me like a nice kind of sun-kissed look so I've been really enjoying that. That's a nice little product. Then um, something else that I purchased was the Too Faced Lip Assurance. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched it, but I did a liquid lipstick testing video a couple of months ago. And you know, liquid lipsticks are such a problem, especially for older people, because a lot of them can make your lips look really dry. Uh, they can creep up into your lip lines. 
and who wants that? So I was looking for one that on its own didn't do those things and I did find a couple of winners, but there were some that were losers in that test, but I just love the color of and I wanted to be able to wear them. And the liquid lipstick that I'm wearing it with today is one that I absolutely love from that video, the color, but it was kind of an epic fail as far as performance, is the Giorgio Armani um, Lip Magnet. Put this on with this and oh my gosh, it doesn't get up into my lip lines, it stays in place longer, it's not drying, it doesn't like crack and look dry. So you can use this with any lipstick and it just keeps the lipstick from feathering up into your lip lines. So that was an awesome product. This is an Essie nail polish. I've been wearing it for a few days. I did this little manicure myself. I've been getting salon gel manicures all summer long and last week when I took off my nail polish, my nails, oh my god, were like in such bad shape. They were so weak and so like flimsy and you know from just taking off that gel every time and the way they scrape it and file the tops of your nails. And I had received this great box of, from Essie with um, this line of nail colors which are their new tree love and color line so this has like nail nourishing stuff in it so when your nails are in bad shape you don't have to just go without any polish on to have them be treated and strengthened and everything so they sent me all four colors this one which is called good lighting and I am loving this color especially with like a top like this there's no base coat and no top coat needed basically I just did two coats of this and that was it and let it dry and it's looked good for a full week now so I'm pretty amazed by this I picked up this dandelion blush from Benefit and I'm really enjoying this blush a lot, especially for the summer. It's such a really light, light, light peach color and I love it that it comes in a box so it's like not major packaging, you know, it's very compact and it comes with its own little kabuki brush. So isn't that just the prettiest color? I think this one might have a little shimmer though. It's really light and really natural and um, I am loving that from Beauty Junkies. They have actually come out with almost like a Z palette kind of thing. You know, they're just magnetized and they pop in and out and I wanted to share that with you that they not only have all these great um, eyeshadows which I've tried and I'm loving their eyeshadows and these blushes are really pretty. So it's just a great price point for a makeup brand. It's available on Amazon and um, Julie has provided me with a discount code for my viewers so I wanted to pass that on to you because I'm never disappointed in the quality of the Beauty Junkies products. So I'll put the code in the information box below the video along with links to Beauty Junkies on Amazon. So those were all the happy sunshiny moments that I had this month. Then it did rain on my parade with a few products that I uh, purchased and was sent. The first one is this Super Goop Invincible sunscreen setting powder. This is an SPF 45 and you know I love my sunscreen setting powders because it makes it a really easy way to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day if you just need a touch up. This was kind of a miss for me because it goes on white. I always look for things that perform well but that you can actually wear in real life and look normally. So you can see the difference between the two hands. So for me it was just a little too white, a little too heavy, it didn't really sit well on top of my makeup and so unfortunately I didn't love it. But the product that I prefer to this is the Brush on Block or the um, Color Science Sun Forgettable. The Sun Forgettable one is my favorite, I just don't have it right here to show you. But something else that I tried was the original RCMA No Color Powder. I've been hearing about this on YouTube for years that it's like super fantastic, the best translucent setting powder that there is. So I got it, I tried it, I didn't like it. First thing that I don't like about it is the packaging, like why it's in something that looks like it came out of my spice cabinet, I don't understand. Would you look at the size of those holes? I mean you want to shake out just a little bit of setting powder to do your setting. <laughs> It's really not possible to just get a little bit of setting powder out of this thing. And the other thing is, what do you shake it into? Like everything else has a lid that I can shake it into, but I don't actually love the powder. For me, it is not invisible. It goes on very white. I just really didn't feel it did a good job of like controlling my oil or setting anything or setting my under eye makeup. And so I was really disappointed. So, you know, still my favorite on that is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. That truly is translucent. It truly does like mattify and true to its name, Bye Bye Pores, smooth over the skin and make my pores 
you know, nothing can make them completely disappear, but as much as is humanly possible with just a powder, um, really does kind of blur the look of my pores and my orange peely skin and all that stuff. So, went, went, not loving that, sadly. Um, then, let's see, I picked up this Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo Plus, because, you know, I'm always looking for the dry shampoo that doesn't leave my roots looking gray, because... Being my age, I do have gray roots, and so <laughs> I don't want to spray something in there that makes my look, roots look gray. And I actually have found a dry shampoo that I do love. It's from Isalon, and I'll put the link to that in the information box below the video. I have a, I think, $5 off code with Isalon, so if you want to try that dry shampoo, it really is great. It doesn't leave any white in your roots. But back to this, um, I thought, wow, this has color in it, and where my roots are growing in gray, and I do spray on that um, Rita Hazan, product in between colorings to color my roots temporarily. I don't really like how it feels. It kind of makes my hair like stiff, but you know, it's better than having the skunk patch. Let me just tell you that much. So I tried this and guess what? It still goes on gray and makes your roots look kind of whitish. So that was a fail. Let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, the Lash Paradise. I had shown you guys the uh, waterproof version of this in my previous faves and fails video because you know everyone's talking about this how great it is it really is a very pretty mascara um, looks very nice but I had only tried the waterproof that one didn't smudge or flake and so I said well I'm gonna reserve judgment on the whole uh, product you know line until I try the non waterproof and this is a fail this month because you know the non waterproof just doesn't hold up like the waterproof it flaked um, it smudged. I mean, it looks nice to start, but within four or five hours, you know, I had flakes all over the place. So I don't like this one. It is much easier to get off. I got to say my gripe with the waterproof one is it is impossible to get off. And so um, it's great if you're going to the beach or on vacation, you could swim in it. It will not budge. Tried it. Didn't like it. Didn't think I was going to die, but um, definitely not a fave. I also picked up this Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Oil. I thought this was going to be great because um, I generally like the idea of Burt's Bees um, and I had used their tinted lip balms in the past and I like those. This just really didn't do anything for me. I didn't find it particularly moisturizing. Uh, it didn't really give me any color. This one is in Showering Sunset and so it's got, you know, the little click up until the stuff comes out of the brush. Click, 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 it. Oh, there we go. Now we have some. All right. You can see how faint the color is on the back of my hand. On my lips, didn't look like anything at all except shiny, which, you know, at this stage in the game, I'm not really that into shiny stuff, so didn't love this. I, you know, if it had been super moisturizing and made my lips feel, oh my God, so great, then maybe, but it didn't do that either. Also, it has kind of a artificial sweetener smell to it that I didn't like. So anyway, another little fail. Another thing that I picked up and tried is by Maybelline. It's called Curvitude Liner. This is like an eyeliner in a groovy little curved package that's supposed to make it easier for you to reach your eyelashes and get this on there, which um, I felt like when I was putting it on, it did kind of do that, make it easier to reach in there and actually get at the base of the lashes. But unfortunately, the reason it's a fail is only because of the size of the brush. Um, the size of the brush just made it uh, too hard to get a nice dainty line. I feel like older people, you know, generally don't wear a huge big cat eye. It's just, you know, not the way we tend to roll. And if you do, that's fine. Nothing against it. Um, but I much prefer the... Um, the Clinique, pretty easy. The brush on this is so fine, it's so fine. Even though it was kind of thick and you know I didn't make a very smooth line with it, um, it did stay on all day really, really well. And it wasn't that hard to get off at night, I don't believe. And so it performed well. It was just a bit of a thicker line than I prefer or I'm used to, but if you like a thicker line, we could move this one back into the um, wings category and take it out of the losers category. So this one was kind of more on the fancy, I'd say. And then the last thing that I have to show you is by Amazing Cosmetics. This is their Amazing Concealer Hydrate. A lot of people, when I had done my concealer video, had said, oh, you have to try the Amazing Cosmetics concealer, but they didn't say which one, and they make like at least two, maybe three, I'm not sure. So I picked up both. This is the one that I've tried so far. I got the color, I got the wrong color in the other one, so I got to take that back and get a better color and try it again. But I was surprised that this one was a stick. 
I'm not big on the stick concealers. When I'm like just swatching it on my hand, I love how it feels. It feels so silky smooth and lovely. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. But unfortunately um, I put it on and it immediately got those uh, diagonal creases in it, in the inner corners. And I didn't really feel like it wore well either. It was like completely gone within a few hours. Oh, the other thing about it that I didn't like, had a shiny finish. Like I don't get these luminous under eye concealers. Like why would you want shine under your eyes? I don't feel like it does anything for anyone's eyes, young or old. You know, I like this area to not draw attention to itself and I feel like luminosity just draws attention to whatever is luminous. So that was a roundup of a lot of the new stuff that I tried in July that I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video and the format. Thumbs up the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks so much for watching. You guys know I always appreciate your time and for choosing to spend some time with me today. And so I'll see you in the next video. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.